Good afternoon, colleagues. Welcome to our today's educational series brought to you by the Akamba Cultural Center and Museum. My name is uh, Julius Mutuku. I am the founder and the director of Akamba Cultural Center and Museum. The Akamba Cultural Center and Museum is to be found in Makwene County in a Mali Mulala ward in Ovelisiane village. It is seven kilometers from a Mali on a, a Mali water road. Once you cross River Mwoni, you take a you take a right turn and uh, you will find yourself in Akamba Kachero Center. As usual, this educational series is necessitated by the fact that um, many of our Akamba brothers and sisters have lost touch with their culture. They do not know what our poor parents used to do in the area of culture. And also because culture belongs to the world. Culture is everybody's business. Because when we, we lose a bit of culture from a certain people, we lose a way of thinking. We lose a way of life. We lose a way of doing things. And this is very important for survivability of all of us as human species. And that is why the Akamba Cultural Center took center stage to preserve the culture of the Akamba people because the culture of the Akamba people belongs to the world. And so, this we are doing for the world. This we are doing for our children's children. This we are doing for the prosperity of the earth. And so today, we are talking about the defense heritage of the Akamba people. We will do it in English and then follow in Kikamba. Defense. Why was it necessary for the Akamba to defend themselves? Because they had enemies. Enemies who were natural enemies like wild animals. Then we had enemies who were people who would uh, raid villages to stole cattle, to steal even young women and all that. And so they needed to defend themselves. They needed to be ready all the time. And let us look at uh, how they defended themselves. First, if anything happened, there was a message that would be sent across all Cumberland. And they used something called uh, Ngoli. Ngoli was blown in such a way that uh, the Akamba person would know that there is danger in the community. It, it was blown in such a way that at times they could know whether the enemy has crossed their territory, whether the enemy has engaged them in fighting, whether the enemy was a spotted meeting, and whether they needed to meet to discuss, or they needed to meet to go straight to war, or they needed to go straight to war from where they had the Ngoli. This is the Ngoli. It is made from the own of a certain antelope. And uh, it was blown in times of danger, in times of invasion by the enemy. Uh, it had specialist people who would blow. I'm not a specialist, and also I cannot blow it. Because if you blow it loud enough, and the people gather here, you will be fined by elders. And normally it was like three goats, because they cannot simply gather here for nothing. So it had special people to blow, but I will try. I am finishing with close tones together to show that the enemy has crossed. And any young man who is strong enough is supposed now to get his bows and arrows to defend the territory. At times, then, you could not live without these essential components, as you can see here. One, every man needed a snuff bottle. This snuff bottle is called a comma. Mm. And uh, you needed this 
for the purposes of uh, stimulating you when you are dealing with the enemy and for the purposes of uh, sacrifice to the ancestors. So when things became tough or even before you depart, you would pour some tobacco as an offering to the ancestors. And then these ancestors will protect you on your way as you fight and as you come back. Um, the tobacco was also kept in this own called Ekutu. So this would be like uh, the bigger store for the tobacco where you would now uh, get some to put in this small snuff bottle. So this one was also mandatory. It was covered by with this skin made from a uh, rhino. And then we all know the Akambas are known for charms. Charms were very important in any war in dealing with the enemy, be it natural or man-made disaster, you needed charms. And these charms many times were to confuse the enemy. This botro, this guard, sorry, has got some charms. I will not be opening it because the charms can affect people in the village. So this charm can make you invisible. This charm can confuse the enemy. This charm can also protect you from wild animals. And so inside is the charm, the medicine that was used for the purposes of confusing the enemy, for the purposes of protection, for the purposes of even confusing wild animals so that you can kill them. Then this calabash was for the purposes of libation, where you would pour uh, water many times, also accompanied by the tumbako to appease your ancestors. Then each warrior had to have a knife for close body protection, for personal defense. If the arrows are finished, if everything is done, then you needed to have this knife to defend yourself now. This is hand to hand combat. And before they went to war, if it was a war that they could foresee, the Akamba would send spies ahead to spy on the enemy. And in the Kamba name, we call them Ngela. The Ngela were trained in such a way that they could speak the language of the enemy. They knew the ways of the enemy. They were trained in navigation. They were trained in survival. So once they crossed the enemy territory, many of them would befriend that community and they would be supplying information to their Akamba on the mighty of the enemy, on the strength of the enemy, on the plans of the enemy. Many times they would start businesses, they would even marry from that community, but they were all spies. And when the attack came, they would pretend that they have nothing to do with the Akamba people. They would run with them, they would hide with them, they would wail with them, they would complain with them so that uh, nobody would ever suspect them. This was what we call the spies. After the spies followed, um, when the time for the attack was near, then it followed other people who were called in Diana. And in Diana's purpose was to confirm whether what the Ngila, the spies, have said, they have seen. Diana used to cross maybe a week or three days to the attack to confirm enemy positions, to confirm property, to confirm the readiness of the enemy. And this was done because some of the Ngila would become double engines and sell their people. So Ndiyana was there purposely to confirm. Is what we have been told the correct uh, image on the ground? So that now they would summon battalions. Battalions were called Ita. These ones now would come armed with bows and arrows and ready for war. And once they crossed, they would fight and they would take away animals and all that. But the battalions had specific instructions. One, they never, they never engaged women. They never took children. They never armed women. They never armed children. They never armed the elderly. And they never armed pregnant women. So these were the specific instructions from elders. 
And if anybody went against that, then maybe they would face a defeat. That was very important. Now, many times, then the Anna would still get off from the community they are fighting with. They did not many times want to kill these animals. And so, when it came time for food, they would bleed them using these arrows. These arrows are called in there. And the deer is made in such a way that uh, it, once you shoot an animal, it was to cut the vein and draw the blood and mix it with the flow or just drink it raw for you to survive. And it came with a small bow. This bow is specifically made for dealing, for shooting animals that you, that you have stolen that you don't want to kill. And it would also be used in your own animals during times of famine. So this is in there with his accompanying small bow. Then now came the actual warfare, where the Akamba had to use bows and arrows. They are known to be very skilled archers. And uh, this bow is made in such a way that it has a curve. This was very important when you pull, so that that power would propel your arrow. These arrows were used to shoot animals, to shoot people, and many times it is for shooting something that you may not want to kill instantly, something that you may not want. If you are shooting an enemy, you may want to shoot him with this arrow so that the suffering will be long or they don't die or it's a sign of warning. And uh, this arrow, of course, it, is, it has some, uh, it is, it has uh, made of, uh, there are some, this pipe is harvested from the river, then we have the arrow head, then we have the finishing. But before you shoot, you are to make sure the arrow head was aligned or parallel to the ground. Once you shoot it like that, then it was bound to hit the target. But if you don't, if you let the arrow head, for example, be like that, that arrow will wobble and will not eat the target. Now, when going to war, there are people who became cowards and they could retreat. So if somebody was to retreat, you hit him with this arrow, which has no arrow head. It's called Indili in Kekamba. You hit them, you tell them, it is forward, we are not going back. Now, if the target was far away, like wild animals, we use Messier. This arrow is made from a specific tree. It has some uh, straight branches where we fix a small arrow head. And this one also used a certain bow. The bow for these arrows is smaller. It is smaller and can propel this arrow to go very far. So this one is for eating distant targets. This one is the one that used to have arrow poison, as we shall see. So when you needed to hit a distant target, you used the moshe with this special small bow, which would propel that animal very far. And they were carried in a quiver made of uh, this quiver from 1940s, which we acquired, um, is made of elephant skin. Then came the most deadly of all. This is uh, the poisoned arrow. The Akamba are known for making arrow poison. So this poison, you can see the black thing, is made of certain poisonous plants and also from extracts from animals extracts from frogs and snakes and other deadly animals to mix to make this poison. To acquire this poison took us like six months. And after every six months, they normally come to check whether the poison is still available because they do not want it to be used to kill people. These are the elders. So this poison, once you are shot with a poisoned arrow, you can only move for not more than 10 meters. This one is deadly. But uh, up to now, we do not know the ingredients of this poison. We are also hearing that uh, sometimes it will cure cancer. Some researchers have said that. But uh, these are things we don't know. So it comes packaged in this package. This is the arrow poison now. This is ready for use. And uh, if, for example, one was shot by mistake, then they used to carry this so that they can uh, draw out, try to draw out as much poison as possible you pull with your mouth, then when it is almost near to the mouth, you seal it with wax and you let that on stick on the body. When it sticks there, 
as ma when it draws the majority of the poison, it will fall off. But of course, many of the people did not survive. These were normally carried in a small quiver. This quiver is made of rhino skin. It is from uh, 1910. So it was passed from my great great grandfather to me. So this quiver is from 1910. So basically, that was the Akamba defense heritage. As we have heard from our forefathers, and I have, as I have researched and brought it to you. Now, let's go to the Kamba explanation for our brothers who are Kamba. You and the Baitu Akamba, ni mwe neto wa mutuku wa muindi, ni muambua, ni mwe wa mutangwa. Uma witu ni makuwene county, kuya emale mulala ward. Na ninye mwene Akamba kacharo senda and museum. Pata wakwa ni kusome kia Akamba kithio. Nundu mukamba ni watiye kithio. Na ni mwewe ndutia kwenu ukone ya neza kwenu. Na oyungu nena, ukamba uonde tu inasikitiko na kenda yonde. Nundu wakutia kithi yo kitu cha mukamba. Na nituwe uye alama kuye kwa ya shakahola. Na ituwe mati yeleu, neka nama kapikie kuona mwobosia. Na andu ya na kenda makwa. Na oo wiki kite nundu tuatie kithi yo kite kitu. Kithi yo kitu cha icha uthemba. Mwewe amu ikamba tayatie ya ba... Ni mukamba kipindio. Ula wezi ngondu ye mwana. Ula wezi kuthemba mbuwa yue neka uwa. Ula uteti kila kweka mundu ungi na ii. Nundu nga ino wene. Na ula wezi musingi mutae. Ndake ya ambusia. Kwa mukamba kithi yoshake cha hike siyo. Na nitu wakitie ni kukengwa. Hindi. Makoa 2023. Tua isi ya ii. Tuhichoke kithi yo ni akamba. Nitu uvela. Tutisa kuone ya nesha. Kukwene. Na hindi mukamba. Ayambea kuthi. Kwezi ya ya. Ni waenda kwa mundu mwe, haka kulia na enu zita wa mbebe. Haka amba la mutesi na mbebe. Nyo ya kunawa, hika tapa niya hii. Mumaitha ya siata, mumaitha ya nde tata, na mumaitha ya lekwe kwata. Na hindi ya tiyo ndoka, ndati ya mbaki. Kani tukua na bae koma. Iso betuwe nobya, nobyo la mune nje zita wa kutu. Ya kwe kia mbaki la mbingi. Neka noka ume ya chie koma ni. Ya adela, mbaki nu ya ya uthemba. Na kunyua neka na kili lungale. Na hindi pake so saanya. Mukamba ni wethe haa guwete kapiu kakao. Ugeethe haa hindi mbutama anjima kathela. Kana koko kita ni wata taie. Ni kuweza kapiu. Akeyo ukitea. Na kindu kila kingi chai maana piu. Ni kuweta kewonde. Zeleka ni kaini. Na nundu wa ulikangusu nela ya uthikaone. Kazeleka ni koka tumeka hako wa kuweta kewonde. Hindi ukete ya uma umaku, kama kulia mautete chie, maungu yenze ya na maitu undoja. Mundula, eh, kuenda kukweka nae. Kalaka angi kama maana piyo, nika kuluka haka nzebo. Habe nzebo. Ya nzebo nejo, ya utu undoja ndo, ya utu undoja ndamu, kachua, nundu motena lewu. Ya ukozi ya nzeyane, nduka umane chindu mbuku cha nze, tanzoka na inga uwe. Ela uwande teka one. Habe nzebo, nezo vetu na chucha angoso, na maima ambiti, na kendo kenge ndeweta. Na ndewe rondwe zoba, kwa ninge munda kambe ya kwe zoba, janu nzevu na yote nziyo muno. Indi, mwa mino thika uni, na mwa mino taba, mwa taba indo. Sa inge, indo isu ni chendeka ane kana muke kuwana. Laki nundu sabale nundu na kweza we muasa, nipe ndeka mangia meta wandea. Na ndea, neyoze ya za ngombe, ika unja ndakame, ne kana muka nywa, muka the uchiha, indi ukeza ya muino wa ngombe, muko vika na ngombe, chenu, chetha u, na kalutaka ndea, ni kaini. Na indi ve utamwene, Ula wenda mangi, tukwa na bae mangi, ame na ndukilje mozumeno, neka na ya adhete kaume, tukwa na bae ndili, ndili ni ya ila muende tenji, maka na muende teka une, mundu wika ke ujoka, wambo muwatha na ndili, uka mwe abaso ngwe, hindi ke hindi ke londa, cha kuwatha tuzamutu latu hii, nita tubi hii, na kuwatha mundu, eba kube, na neka na wende wamu wa anasaisi wa ke londa, yangize hini babi ya wana nzea, neka na wende ya nea adhi nesa, Na hii kodho wapapi wananzi haja kilue, nzi haja ndei. Chokwe uwa hao, usia wa ndei nduwa za wa ndei. Nundu usia wa ndei uwe maana. Na wai maana kwa mwukamba kwa wapapi ya mangi. Kwa adhi njema, no lasima. Yangi ya kuweza nungwa na kuwaza nduka adhitie. Uka keka. Na kukeka kuweza kupendu wa kilunda ke. Kikethe ya kiliye. Ki paraleo, nduwa zungumeta paraleo. Ke mene na ande. Yu wakota walecha. Yangi yu jienda kuwaza kilo kuenda. Kwa une lazima uithi njema uithi ene wese kukeka yangi. Neka neka di palo kwenda.
ende na mwila nene na chindule chibasa si yadha wana meche na uwe moche uchove tuwe na mwote unge weta wa mkurwa na uteke wakalonda kanazi umu kaini wethi yene kathi pasa kaa wakota ni kaenda haba asa na kati hatha na mu kakotha kutumu wana mu ni ila nene na nejoke tumike paa ni popa kweke ya pai na moche uendete njima kana uendete kukita na na maitha moche we maana na moche te wako ija ovyo ovyo Nunu wede wa neva ineva ye mwoko kwa tekana. Na necho kitumu wa mwukamba ataja aite mana na mwuchi uwadha ite mbiti. Nunu mbiti wadha na mwuchi. Yue mbiti mwe ya na mbiti ye mwkosi ye mwa. Nunu tete ya mwuchi usundu vio woza. Nunu mbiti ye mwa nukwa ndo mekwata. Na eteza wa. Na ngozi ya yondeza wa. Kwa uwe hithi ya. Ando ingi niwe wa aite mana na mwuchi uwadha ite mbiti. Na yome chenu ni ya kwa wana dhyaka. Ya kutu nda uwe waka kamba kacha rosenda ala mkoka mkaa wana. Uzo obe tuwe na kithu umachanzo. Na ni wakuma na wakuna indine 40s na indine 30s. Ende vayi la mecheze vayi. Vayi neoze kenduke uko na kio. Vayi ene uzo obe tuwe na mete sumu na mete mboku na pake kewa. Peke tuwe chendu mboku wana sumu wanzo kawe hopo. Uwe vayi ene vuku piyo. Na ala maa nengi ni moko o si cha kanazi yopo ndi kethi ya nai tome ye nai. Yeze baaju ya kuwadha. Ndo peto kama tambia kumi yote moku. Na pati ingwa ndawa. Na nicho kutumi ya baji neva tanawa mono. Na nyo ze ye. Eke etuwa baa. E ndi ukaadha kwa metuki. Ni matemba ama kaute mangando. Ukaadha kwa baati ndoku. Na eva ye. Na ende kaindu kaa kai kucha. Kai kucha kai kucha. Usi che pa ikana no kucha. Tue leto ende. Mungu italikete ndaka mene ti undo. Na nicho kutumi ona kamba ingi achemi. Mayo mwone ma kukangie. Na ma kukangie mbe nundu wawo ya nama. Na muma adhe ite neba yi. Na kukuche ba yi mungu wadha kwa mbanga. Na ala masoba jotulu watesa kwe kwa atamonuka. Nundu zeta ana sumbu mwono. Na kwa kati ya kakaa wone kaini. Masoba ito na kethi umachambucha. Ane kwa kuma 1910. Kuma kwa umau wa mayo wakwa. Kwa uu mwabika kuwa kamba mwuzia muka kona. Na muka ende ya na ukwata kethi ocha muka kama. Kwa umba ito wakamba. Kithi o jamu kamba ni kisio. Kithi o tike dhuku. Kithi o nithie. Kithi o nechoke tumba hatu yethi tuwa kamba. Na tuka ketia. Tuisa kwa. Na ni mungkona netuke tiye. Na netuwenda ya na kwa. Ni mwewe makanisa ume kwa jajua ume. Matu haya ume ange. Kwa mundu ume unge uka jaya ndi. Mundu muka atu haya unge. Na hindi ala makanisa tuwa hatu matu matu tia kithi o. Ni mua mwe kwa jaya ume matu haya ume. Na haka matu haya ka. Kweli. Kithi yoku matu wete yetu atie yitu. Nikesio. Na nundu netu situkie. Kwa cha kwa mundu nopala wa amukia. Netu amukie. Tuche oke hii kithi yo. Tuche oke hii mekalele ya mukamba. Tuche oke hii miamulo ya mukamba. Na mukona tuwaende ya nambe. Nundu pati mukamba wa haya mukamba wangie konge nae. Pai mukamba wa haya mundu wa mwana wa mundu. Pai mukamba wa haya mundu. Eka mundu wa mundu nae. Kikamba kitu nikesio. Kithi yo kitu nikesio. Haendi ndi mina. Ukeenda. Kutulokea, wapi kamu chiwe mali, unu ala ume mambo da boda, akamba kacha rosenda jiva, ni meukwete. Pange, ala somu, sicha kwa Google Maps, akamba kacha rosenda and museum. Wataibuke unu ukwonu, apalaji, no ituka upikia kutubikia. Tuyo katika Facebook. Na hindi kisomo ki, uituweka muwati ya wachani o kitu cha YouTube. Neka na tusome ki, kamba, tusome ki dhiyo kitu. Ni mbe amba ito, nituko kawiki usunge ukete. Kuketo wa mwale chobo wa kethito cha muma. Undu cha inga wa. Na undu ke uwa wa. Na cha inga wa neke. Na ke kwa ata andu neke. Ni mwe ya mwono wakamba maito. Tete kaiko na mwe. Na mwe iba anda. Na mwe ya lewu. Kwe mbuwa yu. Ni mwe ya. Asande kuma kuhu. Akamba kacha rosenda. En museum. Elaye kuhu. Emale molala ward. Ubelechane. Ndua ya ubelechane. Na makuwene county. Ni mwe ya. Thank you.